Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Achieving with Alice. People always ask me, Alice, how do you excel on every single test, and why do I find myself unable to even come close to you? Well, that is the topic of today's video, which will answer that very question. Today is all about the optimal study strategy for all of your tests. So first off, it is important to make sure that you are studying for tests weeks before they actually happen. Every weekend, I take the time to go through all of my notes for that week and make sure I understand all of the material. A good way to do this is by going back over all of your pencil lecture notes and rewriting them in pen. This method serves the dual purpose of one, allowing you to better engage with the material, and two, making your notes neater so that when you actually need to study them coming for the test, you are better able to do so. Because as I always say, neatness is everything. Now, let's get into how to actually study for an exam. The most important thing that you can do is not procrastinate. Simply having the mental discipline to study days ahead of time will already put you far above most of your competition. However, if you want to take this a step further and ensure a grade of true caliber, and well, why wouldn't you? I recommend you follow this method, which I've used time and time again and always guarantees my success. You see, when I study for exams, I prepare at minimum a week in advance. What I do is I split the content that will be on the exam into six different sections, then devote each day leading up to the exam to studying one section. Finally, the night before the exam, I culminate my studying and review all of the sections at once so that I am thoroughly prepared for the next day. Take it from me, a simple organizational structure like this makes all the difference. However, it is simply not enough to study by reading your notes. Your brain will have a far better time retaining the information if it engages with it. The way I like to create this engagement is, of course, by making Quizlets. Here is an example of my Quizlet for Code 220. Now, this class doesn't actually have exams, but I figured it would be a good idea to make one anyway to become more familiar with the material. Especially since... Well... Well, let's just say that this class is one of the few I actually have to improve my performance in. For the record, I have never been a fan of group projects, but anyway, I digress. An important point I wish to make is that I have a principle against sharing my quizlets with others, and I suggest you do the same. After all, why should your competition benefit from your hard work? Having superior study strategies is key to creating a competitive edge to strike others down with. You are welcome for getting the opportunity to see what true academic masters do. I will be back next week with another video, and until then, keep studying.